All right, here are the assignments for week seven. Um, we've got three assignments, um, just like uh, last week, and, uh, and a sketchbook that will be due on uh, October 12th. The first assignment is to uh, copy the proportions uh, from this handout, um, which is uh, the proportions of, of, of the, the front of, uh, of, of the human face. And go ahead and just um, utilize this, the crosshairs. You'll see uh, uh, the crosshairs here uh, on the lower part of the page, and then all of the proportions on the top left. And all you have to do is just uh, follow those proportions and um, make an oval, and then uh, start copying all the information um, that's on the top onto the, uh, the, 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 the bottom image here. Um, you don't necessarily have to uh, uh, write the information, but I want you to, to copy the information that's on there and take note of, of what that information is saying and, and the, uh, the relationship of the different parts of the, the human face in, in a front view. Okay, the, the second assignment is to uh, duplicate um, this image here. And this is an image of a uh, self-portrait from an early photographer uh, named Edward Steichen. And uh, it looks like a, uh, a drawing, but it, uh, uh, it's an actual, it's, it's a photograph. Um, so what we'll do is um, just like uh, the hand assignment and the profile assignment, um, you'll go ahead and, and use, using a uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, you'll make a frame that is uh, six inches wide and eight inches tall. And then in that frame, uh, take your graphite stick and uh, color in that frame with the graphite stick. This time you want to go pretty dark uh, because the, 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 this image has some really dark darks in it. Um, so then after you've got that, laid that ground uh, tone of the dark uh, graphite, uh, then you'll, you'll go in and you'll, you'll use a, a large eraser and pick up the areas um, of the face. Um, so you're, you're look, looking at the, the large uh, lighted areas, um, like the, the top of the forehead, the cheekbone, uh, sections of the nose, above the, the mouth or the lips, and underneath the, you know, under the, where the chin is, and then some really light areas where the, that collar is that this person's wearing. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's a great exercise. You can, uh, as soon as you've get, uh, gotten, brought out some of those lights, um, you can go back in with a pencil and maybe shade in some of the details and some of the half tones. Uh, but this should take about an hour to do, and it's, it's a fun assignment um, where you get to kind of see that image uh, with the three-dimensional qualities of the shadow pattern uh, showing the face of this, uh, of this uh, early photographer. Finally, the, the third assignment is to draw your self-portrait. Um, this time we're going to have uh, a lot more time to do this self-portrait. Uh, maybe start this on Wednesday and go into Friday. Uh, we're going to use a uh, larger paper, so an 11 by 17 piece of paper. Um, and then uh, you'll make a kind of, you know, like with the previous assignments, um, make a, a, a frame. Uh, maybe instead of a, a 6 by 8 frame, you want to make a, a 10 by 12 frame or 11 by 13 size frame. That'll, uh, I'm sorry, more, yeah, more like a, a, a uh, 10 by 12, um, but anyway, you'll, you'll make a frame that'll fit the format of that 11 by 17 page. Um, and then uh, you'll use a, a graphite stick again to lay down the ground, the groundwork of the, uh, of the, the box or the, the, the format that you're going to draw your face in. Uh, you'll do a light shading, light to medium shading with the uh, graphite stick. Then you'll draw in the details with the number four pencil, um, as well as erase uh, with um, you know picking up the blocks of, of light areas and that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, it's, it should be really fun. Um, in preparation for this assignment, um, the first thing you want to do is uh, is to think of a word that describes you or some aspect of your personality, and, and utilize that or incorporate that in your self-portrait. I have some ideas in the next few slides that uh, that you can uh, maybe think of in terms of uh, developing this self self portrait and, and putting it together. Um, I'd like the the word that you uh, want to decide on to be uh, thought about and and and, and uh, uh, a word nailed nailed down by Tuesday, uh, latest Wednesday. So you just talk to me and let me know 
Um, you don't have to let me know if you're uh, working from home, but if you're in class, I, I would like to, to know what you're thinking and maybe uh, you know, we can bounce some ideas off each other. So here are um, some, uh, some ideas um, that I have thought of um, that you can utilize for the self-portrait. Um, when you're thinking of a word that best describes you or an aspect of your personality, um, here we have an image of somebody that they've uh, put together um, a really fun uh, take on, you know, utilizing scale uh, to make something humorous. Um, so it's just, you know, it's got some more personality to it instead of just, you know, you with the front view looking at, uh, looking at uh, out at the audience. Here's some other images. Uh, perhaps you could go with a, a real close-up shot of your face. Um, maybe this has to do with, you know, you have that in-your-face personality. Um, and then another image here, we have a person who's got, uh, you know, kind of some fantasy, you know, the hair is turning into to, to feathers and that kind of thing. So maybe it has something to do with your, your nationality or your, your, your heritage, kind of fun. Okay, here we have uh, some examples of, uh, you know, here's an image of, uh, you know, people and, and maybe their talents, showing their talents and, or showing their personality again. Here's an image of Ray Charles, and we know that he's a, very famous uh, piano player and singer, so we've got this uh, piano and, and the reflecting in his sunglasses. And on the right, this is just another image with uh, you know somebody showing some attitude. Uh, we want to keep this uh, you know uh, respectable and and, uh, and and clean, of course, um, but you can show some attitude in your drawing or or some aspect of your your uh, your character or your your personality that's fun and and, uh, and entertaining and, and, and appealing. Okay, here's a couple more examples, just some, some silly drawings uh, and some creative drawings that people have put together. Uh, here's a person that looks like she's putting makeup on on the right here, but she's uh, drawing out her eye, which is kind of kind of cool, kind of neat. Here's another take. Somebody um, thought of uh, putting a collage of photographs together and composing that as their self-portrait. Uh, so, and here's a, a couple more, just, uh, you know, the top left here, just someone uh, showing a happy personality. Maybe you're a shy person, like uh, whoever did this drawing here uh, on, on the bottom uh, left. And then there's a, a fun collage of somebody with the, showing their face with the you know, collage of a human uh, and an, an animal subject uh, kind of uh, interacting or, or uh, composed together. So, you know, this is uh, an opportunity to make a fun take on your self-portrait and have a fun twist to it, make it, make it interesting by Thinking of one, uh, thinking of a word, and then two, also maybe coming up with some some neat ideas of how to put this together. Okay, some uh, final information on, on how to do the self portrait. I wanted to talk about um, the, uh, the 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 uh, opportunity to to draw your self portrait in uh, not just a front view, but a, a what's called a three quarter view. A three quarter view is where you're uh, you're not facing the subject, but you're kind of turned at an angle. This is called a three-quarter angle, so that you see maybe uh, less of this side of, of the face and the eyes and things, but more of this side. Um, something to, to be uh, careful of is when you're drawing somebody in three-quarter view, um, that triangle that we talked about that goes from the back of your eye to your ear to down to your chin, that triangle shape, um, it's different with a three-quarter view. The triangle for a three-quarter view is going to start at, at this part of your eye. Um, and the inside part of your eye, not this part. So it's going to start here and go to here, the back of your ear, and then go down to your chin. And that's what we have this picture here is, is those uh, proportions. Notice this, there's also a, a triangle. Um, you'll, you'll see this in the front uh, image as well. There's a triangle uh, where the eyes are and then down to the nose. And you'll see that here in this three-quarter view, the triangle where the eyes and then the nose meet. That makes a triangular shape. Okay, um, and speaking of the eyes uh, and, and, and the shape of the face, um, something to be aware of too is that if you're tilting your head back and forth, um, your eye and the center axis of your head is always going to be at a right angle. So it's always going to be like this. So if I tilt my head like this, it's got to be consistent, right? It's going to be consistent. It's going to tilt that way. So you have here um, this image of, of a, an incorrect um, alignment of the, of the head is where you know s somebody could draw the, the eye level here but then they're tilting their head and if they don't tilt the that eye level 
it's it's going to look off. It's going to look incorrect. So it's always at a what's called a right angle. Your 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 horizontal vertical line uh, with your lining up of your your eyes, your eye level. It's just something to be aware of. Finally, um, uh, I want us to utilize a, a, a light source, and I think this will add to the drama of your self-portrait. And specifically, I'd like you to uh, utilize uh, the, uh, the three-quarter top side uh, view uh, of, uh, of, of shading uh, or of a light source so, so you can get the optimal shading uh, opportunity. Uh, so you'll get some really good three-dimensional aspects of your drawing. So what, what, I'm talk, what, I'm, what I'm talking about or mean is, is that I want you to put a light source above you and then at a three-quarter angle so it's coming down at you from, from, from that direction. And that'll give you a core shadow, uh, highlights, uh, uh, reflected light, uh, and that kind of thing. So just add that three-dimensionality uh, to your drawing. Uh, we'll think about ways to do this if we have to do it in class, but I would like you to do this uh, uh, starting from home if you, uh, if, you, if you are able to, if you can, uh, take a picture of yourself and see if you can find a light source. Um, uh, again, we'll do this in class if you don't have that. You can't utilize that at home. But if you have a light source that you can utilize and put up above you and, and light shining down on you so you can maximize that three-quarter view uh, light and, sh and shading and shadowing, um, that would be really fun. And you turn the other lights out um, off in the room that you're in and just utilize that spotlight to get that nice shadowing effect. You'll get some really dramatic uh, uh, results from this. All right, so that is uh, the assignments, the main assignments for the week. Um, again, there is a sketchbook assignment, but that's not due till 9.14, which is two weeks uh, from, from this week, and that'll be due after we come back from fall break. Um, and all of, the, all of that uh, entails is just uh, to draw three objects. You want to find three household objects and put them together, and then make one, one, on one page, make one drawing of those three objects um, situated in a nice, uh, composed still life. All right, that's it. Um, that's what we have going on uh, as far as assignments this week. Uh, enjoy uh, the opportunity to, to really have uh, a fun time and thinking of that word that you want to put together and in doing the self-portrait and, uh, and, and exercising uh, some of these uh, tricks and tips that we're going to learn this week. All right, thank you, thank you very much, and we'll talk to you later.